This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to our inaugural uh, episode of Out and About on Think Tech Live streaming network series broadcasting from our downtown studio at Pioneer Plaza at the core of downtown Honolulu. I'm Winston Welch and I'm delighted you're joining us today where we're going to explore a variety of topics in general on organizations, events, and the people who fuel them in our city, state, country, and our world. As a disclaimer, any views or opinions expressed by me are strictly my own and are not connected with any organization. That said, today joining me in the studio are Joe Bach, Melvin Jodelang, and Francine Beppu of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. We're going to talk about the Legacy Foundation and the upcoming Pride Parade and event in Honolulu on Saturday, October 21st. So with that, I'd like to welcome our guests to the show. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you for having us. So, you know, uh, this seems like uh, the topic du jour uh, in, our, in the last, well, forever since I've been alive, but especially in the last 10, 15 years. But, you know, can you tell us first, what is the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation and what does it do? Well, the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation is a nonprofit organization, 501c3 organization here in Hawaii. Um, we have a, a variety of initiatives, one of which is Honolulu Pride, um, kind of organizing and, and running that uh, popular and family friendly and educational series of events. Um, we also ha opened and managed the Waikiki LGBT Center. Um, where we host a lot of other LGBT organizations from around the city and the state, um, give them a place to work, and then we have other educational and other objectives as well um, to further benefit and help the LGBT community at large. Okay, Ed, you know, when you say LGBT community, what, what does that mean? What does LGBT mean? And, and uh, what should we be hearing when we're, when we're saying that? And feel free to right. jump in. So again, that's been you know the topic of interest lately, nationwide, internationally. Um, I think initially when everyone started out, it used to be LGBT, but that encompasses so much more, right? As the conversation opens and we're more connected in this diverse world of people, I think you know it encompasses so much more than that. So we don't want to be limited to that. So it's LGBT. Traditionally, gay, Plus. lesbian, bisexual, transgender, um, queer, or questioning, um, but it's a very we're a very inclusive organization. Okay, the so nomenclature is always um, evolving. Evolving, yes. yes. I, I, I think right. that's definitely what we want to um, represent. Is while the name LGBT is four four letters, we're really looking at. That, as we said, LGBTQ plus, and and as the as we continue to evolve as a as just as an organization and as a society, though, we're we're looking at how best to include everyone, and I think that becomes always that discussion for that we can always have. But knowing that the LGBT Legacy Foundation is really one that brings together our community, and I think what Joe was saying about our two key projects, Honolulu Pride and the Parade, but also the LGBT Center, it's really the center for all LGBT. Q plus organizations to come and gather, uh, increase opportunities for them to better our community, increase knowledge, and share what they're having, their gifts and talents. So I think the center is a really a great project of our foundation, and that's an opportunity for people, and people as in terms of volunteers, to come and support the center, help us open our doors so we can become even more, um, have more of an open door for everyone to just come and use the space as well. And, and where is that space? So that space is actually on um, Aokulani. So, um, correct me on the address. That's correct. In the, it's mm -hmm. it's located within the Waikiki Community Center. Mm -hmm. So the same place where the the health center is, and there's a there's a fresh fruits and vegetable market once a week, and a preschool, a preschool. Um, various martial arts and language courses, all all kinds of community events happen there. Okay, and how many different groups would you say use the center on any regular basis? I think right now, um, Randall, um, my husband's actually the one of the coordinators for the center. If you go on HonoluluPride.com and you click on LGBT Center, you can actually click and see the, a list of over, I believe, 15 to 20 who regularly use the center mm -hmm. for their, their monthly meetings or for rehearsals and practices or just to um, plan out the next community event that they're doing as well. So we do have a lot of um, 
group to using that space. So the LG, LGBT Legacy Foundation is really sort of a, a, a space for the community to come together, all kinds of different groups that might come in there uh, and just, it's free to use, I'm mm -hmm. guessing? It is. Okay. And are you all volunteers? Do you have a paid staff or is this a labor of love? The uh, um, Legacy Foundation is entirely volunteer um, managed. Um, same with Honolulu Pride. It's a completely volunteer organization. Okay. We're and always looking for great volunteers, people who are, who are interested in making a difference and shaping not only Honolulu Pride, but the greater foundation's um, initiatives as they, they think need to happen th to help the community. Okay, so, it's, so if, I wanna, if I have some group that I'm starting that, um, that I think I, I'd really like to promote that, is that something where I would just go to your website and then uh, I'd, and say, I'm interested in using your space and, and then just send an email and then you guys are going to get back to me? Or? There's exactly. a space right there on the, um, like if you get, again, you go to honolulupride.com, there's a menu link that says LGBT Center. Okay. It's a, there's an About the Center, it, there's um, some frequently asked questions on how to book the center. So definitely, you can reach out that way. Share what your um, intentions are, what your per what your meetings for, and more than likely, um, as long as we're available, we can allow that space for you. Oh, so it's a great community resource. And mm -hmm. can you tell me about the funding of that? Where it comes from? Uh, if if there's any general sort of funding that that you can point to, or is it a mismatch of different um, things? It's several different things. I mean, we have uh, some great corporate sponsors, mm -hmm. um, donors uh, to the foundation on an annual basis. Um, we also have fundraisers throughout the year, um, one of which is Honolulu Pride. Um, we have a fundraiser in the, in the springtime, uh, which is kind of our, it's our annual um, legacy award where we give and we recognize someone who's made a great commitment to the community, mm -hmm. the LGBT community, and um, that's our visionary award. Um, and then we have other smaller fundraising initiatives, but it is, um, you know, a lot of small donations as well. Um, the community really has reached out to support us. Okay, and you're a 501c3, so it may be tax deductible depending on your circumstances. Depending on our circumstances and the event, uh, but yes, definitely. Okay, uh, so you're, you have uh, two signature events, uh, main signature events, and the one in the spring, like you said, which is uh, an award ceremony honoring somebody in the community who's contributed uh, greatly for, during that year or perhaps yeah. during his or her lifetime. Right. And then you have the pride in the fall. So Pride is traditionally in June, um, but this year it's in October. And, and why is that in October here in, in Hawaii? Is it just because it's hot in June or hotter I'll, in June? <laughs> I'll jump in first. Well, I think we'll all jump in on this part. Yeah, yeah we'll let Joe there, speak. There are a couple of reasons. This is the second year we've had um, Honolulu uh, Pride in June. I'm uh, sorry, in October. <laughs> okay. um, one, because it's, um, it's, I think, better for the community. Um, and we want the community to participate as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, there are fewer people traveling um, outside of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned the weather is a little bit better. Uh, it's great. The, the festival is a fantastic experience. It's outdoor um, at the Shell, uh, something that um, we recommend everybody come and try, um, LGBT or not. We mm -hmm. have a lot of allies to come to support. Mm -hmm. um, it's also a great opportunity for people who don't live in Hawaii to come and experience Honolulu Pride mm -hmm. um, because it's not competing with any of the mainland, you know, New York, LA, um, San Francisco Prides right. that happen in June. It's an opportunity for people to come to Hawaii and experience, you know, the aloha of Honolulu Pride. Okay. You guys have something to add to about that? <laughs> no, exactly. Um, exactly. Again, what Joe just said, um, a lot of the prides, you know, you're kind of torn um, being in New York, New York and San Fran. It's the same pride weekend. You know, it's um, it's uh, not a peak season in October here, so mm -hmm. it's easier for people to get here. Um, not as expensive and competitive. And so, you know, in the future, we would love for this to grow into something as a, you know, gay destination travel. Uh, so yeah. is Hawaii Tourism Authority uh, maybe supporting uh, Pride with some, some money, or have they recognized the value of, of this type of event and, and, and stepped up to the plate at all? Um, I'll say that the uh, Hawaii Tourism Authority has uh, definitely taken an interest in Honolulu Pride, and um, we're looking forward to working with them um, next year. Okay, that's, that's, that's it's great. Our society's evolving. Oh, I'm understanding that we need to value all people, I think, and, and this is part of that, but you know, some people will say, you know, what is pride, and why do we need pride, and what what do you what are you proud about, and, and you know, what what does that even mean, pr 
pride. Can you explain the background of this and why it's still relevant today? Well, I, I think um, I think this is a great conversation for all of us. I'm going to kind of just add it to the, the last question about um, pride. Pride really then maybe is a, a year-long thing. We should be proud of like the, the history of where we've come and where we're heading towards our community, the things that we've accomplished, and just really just how much more we feel safe and free to be who we are. Um, Another part about what we do as a foundation, though, in terms of honoring pride is we still look to June and we have a family picnic. We still have a splash water, um, water park event that we do. So we still try and do a lot of those things, but the focus is in October because that's a really great opportunity to really enliven our community. If you drive down to down Kalakaua, you can see rainbow banners saying Honolulu Pride now. And I think it's really, for me, just about being able to feel, feel really comfortable being an out gay person and know that there's been a lot of, you know, a lot of challenge that, that we face, and so we can do this openly and, and feel comfortable about it. And there's still work to be done, but that's another thing. It, it shows how many allies show up at the parade, um, parade, how many allies show up to our festival, and that really shows how large of a supportive community Hawaii has, too. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. At the parade, I think one of the great things about the parade and just being in Honolulu and having it in Waikiki is that the, the parade has traditionally left from Ala Moana Beach Park and travels down Kalakaua and ends up at the festival grounds in uh, Kapilani Park at the Shell. Um, but going through kind of the main thoroughfare of Waikiki and you see the, the outpouring of support not only from our local community but all from the visitors and tourists who are there, mm -hmm. it's a really, it's a fantastic parade route. Um, and it's great to see, again, with the rainbows over Waikiki, mm -hmm. the, the banners that are all throughout Waikiki during Pride season, uh, they're up right now. So if you're in Waikiki, be feel to uh, check them out. And those are all sponsored by individual donors. And okay. um, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's great to have... Um, to be proud and to, to have the ability to be out and be who we are and um, and celebrate that. Yeah, because it's certainly not the case uh, in a lot of places around the world. So uh, right. yeah, and we'll I know we're we're coming up here shortly on a break, but um, I'd like to talk a little bit more about that and then some reasons uh, why you all got involved and and then some details about uh, Pride uh, when we come back uh, from our break. I'm here with. Uh, out and about on Think Tech Live streaming network series. We're talking with Joe Bach, Melvin, Jada Lang, and Francine Beppu of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. We'll be back in a minute, so stay tuned for more of the story. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. My friend, mother, what big eyes you have. She said, all the better to see you with my dear. What are you doing? Okay, cool. Research says reading from birth accelerates the baby's brain development. And you're doing that now? Oh, yeah, ah. yeah. this is the starting line. Push. Ah. Ah. When this is over, you're dead. Read aloud 15 minutes. Every child, every parent, every day. I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? And they told me they were making music. Hi, we're back and we're live, and I'm Winston Welch, and this is Out and About on Think Tech Live streaming network series. And we're talking about the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Center and its upcoming Pride uh, Parade and event. And uh, where we left off, we were talking that this is it's, it's a benefit for the uh, for the community, but it also benefits the community because it lets people see that we're we're here and we're part of the community and we're happy to be part of the community and participating in things. So you've got a whole bunch of events coming up associated with this. I saw over 20 online that you've got. So can you walk us through what is, uh, wh where are the events and, and how can we participate in them and, um, and, and find out more information uh, just briefly? I think I'll start off with maybe with our, our kickoff. I mean, already we're starting to blanket all of Waikiki with our rainbow banners hanging along Kalakaua Avenue just to start getting us in the spirit of pride and seeing that, yes, we're not just in one space, but we officially start off the Pride event celebration this Wednesday at UH Manoa. 
okay. um, at the UH Campus Center from 10 to 2. There's a, it's the official coming out day as well, October 11th, so they're doing a whole program for for basically the community. I mean, it's it's a youth-focused event because it, it is on the UH Manoa campus, but um, if, if the public wants to go out there and check it out, they can. Um, also, on that same day at 2 o'clock, Windward Community College is doing a national premiere sc film screening of, of another film that um, is a bit more, um, has a bit more of a serious tone to it, but also talks about the realities of how some states still view what being gay is and how how states think that it's still not right. So um, we have two major events. And then, of course, I'm going to kind of jump all the way to the end, and I think that's where I'm going to let these two talk about, because it's the parade and the festival. It's the big, big event that we want to really um, celebrate. And then everything in between leading up to that, there's a bunch. So sorry, I'm, I'm going to be on the Windward <laughs> Day just talking about that, but I'll let these two talk about the other stuff. Go right. Ahead, so, um, you know, it's a jam-packed month, I would say, okay. um, starting again with National Coming Out Day. Um, and then leading up to that, all the full list of events you can find on HonoluluPride.com. 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 Okay. Um, starting from, you know, we're going to, let's take it from the last event. So the last event's on the 22nd. It's a pool party event at the Surf Jack. Then we have the parade and festival on the 21st. Which is a Saturday. Which mm -hmm. is the Saturday. So that's, I say, the most colorful parade in the state. Okay, and Joe was mentioning <laughs> that it goes down Kalakawa Avenue, but where is it that people go out and, 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 and view this or join in if they, if they so? Oh, okay. Well, you're familiar route? with every other parade through Waikiki. It starts at Alamoana Beach Park okay. on the Diamond Head side. Okay. And it goes all the way through Kalakawa on the main street. Okay. And then it ends at the zoo. And oh. then followed right after that by the festival okay. at the Shell. We traditionally have people who are watching the parade all the way from Ala Moana down to the zoo. Okay. Um, naturally, it's a little bit more, um, there's a, a more dense crowd throughout Waikiki, right in the middle, right yeah. in the middle um, but all scattered throughout. Yeah, it's, it's a great experience. And what time does that start? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. from is the kickoff from Alamana Beach Park. Right. It starts, uh, so it's, it's starting right in the middle of the day for right the parade. The mm -hmm. yes. Okay, uh, so that's going to be a hot parade a little bit. Maybe, no, it'll be perfect. Maybe like, it'll, it'll be cloudy. Good weather. Hopefully. Bring your umbrellas and your beach hats. Okay, You'll be fine. and what if I want to join, what if I want to go down there and say, yes, I, I, I'm happy to, to be a member of this community or a supporting ally and just and celebrate our diversity and humanity. How, how, is that possible? Can I just show up or do I have to register somewhere? Or how, how does that work? To, to be a part of the parade, you do need to register. And we have, um, we have actually a great number of uh, floats this year, more than we've ever had before. I think it's over. Double the number of last year. We're over 30 already. And we have, like, um, we have nonprofit groups. We have schools. Just a lot of folks really coming out to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Private entities. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got a lot of different participants. So, so that's great. If you have an organization, we would tell people um, sign up. Uh, if you can't get it together in two weeks uh, for this coming Pride, you know, let's start planning for next year already. Okay. And you certainly, of course, come out, show your support for the community by uh, standing on the sidelines and uh, waving a flag, waving a flag, yeah. dressing in your colorful clothes, and, and right. just showing that. Uh, I was going to say, like today, I'm wearing one. Of, I'm wearing our official Pride shirt. So if you go to HonoluluPride.com, you can actually pre-order your shirts, get them at a better price now online. Um, it's fifteen dollars for a shirt or eighteen dollars for a tank top. It will be a bit more on the day of the Pride Festival, so if you can pick it up, go online right now. Um, guarantee your shirt sizes too, so that's a really good opportunity. And so, in terms of like just covering and showing your your support of the Pride um, events for the whole month, it's really you could buy a shirt, pick it up, and start wearing it all the way up until Pride Festival oh, Day. Actually, that reminds me. Also available on the HonoluPride.com website um, are all access passes. Everything benefits the community, and it's a nonprofit. So um, the All Access passes it gets you into every single event. Okay. Um, for Pride. So, for example, I mean, there's 20. So I know it's difficult to remember, but the week of the festival, starting um, that Monday on, we have events with uh, Bloomingdale's, with Urban Outfitters. We have events at Wisp in Waikiki. We have an Oahu Party Bus Bar Crawl. We have you know, the youth advocacy programs, we have Scarlet, we have Hula's. White party, black There's party. There's something for educational everybody. Events, Friday the 13th. Pool party, two pool parties. Yeah, yeah Friday the 13th, black party. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's, there's a lot of opportunity, and the, the mm -hmm. VIP all access pass is a really great opportunity because 
it, it gets you into all these events, gets you into, at the Pride Festival, there's a VIP line, so you can skip like the normal line. Okay. Um, but of course, at the same time, these passes include a shirt as well. So you, mm -hmm. you don't have to buy a shirt and a pass, you can just buy the pass. Okay, but buy an extra shirt for your auntie yeah. or, or for somebody else. Yeah. The, uh -huh. yeah, we really do recommend people check out the event calendar on HonoluPride.com. Okay. Um, the theme for this year's Pride, I'm not sure if we talked about, is actually celebrate the rainbow. We have, um, we're, we're celebrating diversity. Uh, our community is extremely diverse, and so are so are the events that we're having. Okay. So if you're just looking to have a party and have a good time, or if you want a little bit more cultural experience, we have that. Um, you know, there's even like a cheer event, um, which is it's going to be mm -hmm. a lot of fun. So. Yeah, we recommend everybody uh, come out and celebrate in whichever way sounds most fun to you. Now, I, I, so the, the parade's going to go all through Waikiki and um, uh, at the zoo, and then it's going to move over to the Shell. Is that correct? So the, the festival is actually at the Shell. Doors open at 11.30. Okay. Um, and it goes until 6. Okay. Uh, so we, we would like to encourage people to, you know, as the parade moves towards the, the park and the Shell, just start moving along with it. Um, you know, sometimes people who are in Waikiki may not know that there's a big festival going on in the park. So we, we hope people uh, spread the word and come out and enjoy a great entertainment schedule. We have uh, uh, a lot of, we have a, a stage uh, for performers, musicians, and dancers coming from the mainland, a okay. lot of local performers. Okay. Um, we have an there's out. a full lineup. A whole lineup. And there's going to be on lots of food there that's mm -hmm. available for purchase. Food alcohol, non-alcoholic beverages. Okay, now in the past I've noticed like there's been like those jumping gyms for kids and it's, it's a very family friendly environment. Uh, is that is that still the case now that it's moved to the shell? It is a family friendly environment for sure. I don't think we have a bouncy house we this don't year. Have one of those. <laughs> I did want to also mention that sometimes folks um, um, who um, may look at, um, may have questions about accessibility of the, the grounds, we do have um, ground, we do have accessibility access for for all, all of our community. So you may want to just visit HonoluPride.com and look at mm -hmm. the location of the Pride Festival. So we'll put a link in there to show where the accessibility entrances are. Mm -hmm. So then we can have everybody find, find a way into the space. But, and yeah. there's going to be a whole bunch of community groups that are yes that yes. are there. So it's a great time to come down and find out about those different groups and how like the, the 15 groups or so that use the center, and there's probably going to be more than that a as well, a, right. a lot more. Uh, how many booths, have, do you know how many? You've I don't have the final count on the booths. Definitely not, moment. but I, I, and I wish we'd check the final more registration. There's going to be a, a lot. More there's a lot, and you know, there's crafts and other things too. Um, so there's vendors not, not only sharing about what they do in their organizations, but selling pride-themed things for mm -hmm. themselves. Activities, yeah, yeah a lot mm -hmm. of things. Oh, and that, just so you know, the, the festival is, uh, there's a suggested donation at the door, but it is, um, you know, it's a suggestion. We want it, everyone in the community to be able to uh, come out and enjoy Pride with us. Oh, that's, yes. that's terrific. So when they get to the shell, it's a, it's a pay what you can or what you'd like, what you'd like. What you, uh, that's, that's really great. Mm -hmm. So it, it makes it accessible to everyone, even right. though it's obviously costing money to rent the shell. Oh. And um, uh, so, but it is a fundraiser for the community. And, and as you, you mentioned, so there's going to be some educational component like this, the, the film at Windward Community College Absolutely. that talks about the situation, even today in America, where we think, I know a lot of young people um, are still surprised because they're, they're thinking, oh, well, you know, of course, they, they have gay friends, they have gay, or the, the gay family, everybody has mm -hmm. gay, lesbian, trans people in, in their lives. And so they think this is all, this is, it's, it's already over with. I, I mean, w w you have all your rights, you have everything. Is that, is that true? Or are we still, are we still facing some sort of we're challenges? Still, we're still facing those challenges. And in some states, more than others, and maybe on the, um, just what we hear in the news, we really need to fact check and see what's going on. But I wanted to mention too, this Saturday, there is also something. So if people can't make it out this, this Wednesday, there's another educational thing um, event right here in town at Central Union Church that's doing one that talks about just the kind of like the history and the um, where we are at um, politically and um, with laws and regulations. So that would be another great event. But again, as what Joe is saying, HonoluPride.com. There's so many events that we could not. Mm -hmm. We would spend all of this half hour time explain every single event that. We really encourage people to visit the site and take a look at it. Absolutely. I, I know that just this week what we saw from the. Uh, our federal government came out with a, a ruling that reversed the past administration's ruling on as far as uh, the ability to fire people on the basis of their of their sexual orientation. And we've seen that the federal government has come out with a position saying, go ahead, fire, it's fine. 
that jives with about half the states, I think, at this point, where you can still just be perfectly legally fired for being gay if your boss, or if, or if they think you're gay. They say, you know what, you're a little bit gay, and I don't like that because um, it's a, they don't need a reason. They can say that and legally fire you. So I think we still have some work to do. Here in Hawaii, we, we don't face that because we're, we, have, we do have protection in this state, but we have to be very cognizant of the fact that uh, you know, in, in the rest of America, it may not be that way. Things are always changing. So, um, yeah, we, we encourage everyone to uh, stay vigilant and pay attention to what's happening. Stay woke. Mm -hmm. Stay woke. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> millennial of you. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, well, uh, yeah, that's the thing is that, you know, and also it's great to see that uh, you guys weren't around when the first Pride came out. I'm just yeah. guessing that, you know, uh, so we're still looking at these issues, uh, you know, more than 50 years later. Um, so it's really interesting, uh, more than 50 years. Well, we're coming on, yeah. I do say, I think one of the things that we may have not been able to touch base is, like what Joe is saying, is we're a volunteer-based organization, but we can only make Pride get better, bigger, and more inclusive by having all the voices of our community represented. And um, Francine's a great example of someone who cared, came out, and wanted to share her expertise and, and ideas and really help us shape this year's Pride. Um, I came in as a person who just knew IT. I have an IT business, and I said, you know what? Maybe we should have our online registration instead this year. And so we did that, and here I am as a board member today. Um, I think these are the opportunities for folks in our community to get involved, get connected, because the more you're connected in your community, the more you're willing and understanding what's going on that might be affecting your overall you know, life and what's happening. So I think that's, and, and you, create, you create a social network of of people who share the same values in social justice. Well, I think exactly. that couldn't have been more well said to, to, unfortunately we are out of time to finish our program, but that's exactly what it's about. It's about being involved, being interested, and being aware. So I hope, can we come back another time and continue this we, conversation? We, yes, definitely. Thank you for having us. And I would like to, to if I have a second, just to say, um, Honolulu Pride alone is, is a huge undertaking, and the, the center is a huge undertaking, and, and we couldn't make uh, it happen without the support um, of the hundreds of donors and, and sponsors and, and people who have helped out. Um, you know, we've had just a huge outpouring of support. Again, all the flags are donated, and everybody who works at the festival and at the organization is volunteering their time. So okay. mahalo to them. So come out and support your community. And unfortunately, we're out of time. We have a lot more to talk about. So you guys will come back later. Of course. Um, I'm Winston Welch. This is Out and About on Think Tech Live Streaming Hawaii. We've been talking with Joe Bach and uh, Melvin Jodilang and Francine Beppu of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation and the upcoming Pride Parade and events on Saturday. Well, actually, it's going to be these, it's already started. So go to um, uh, Legacy, Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation.org or easier. HonoluluPride.com. 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 So go there for a lot more information than we could get out today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming here today. I will see you here every other Monday at 3 for more information on Out and About at Think Tech. Aloha, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.